To hear this bass track in action, please check out my Ride the Lightning full album Loud Bass. It has all eight Cliff Burton tracks loud. You will not be disappointed. Welcome back. Once again, we have the Creeping Death Unaltered Remaster, ripped directly from the remastered CD. The enhanced bass track with my eight equalizers working together to bring out the bass that's already on the album. And the Guitar Hero leaked bass stem that is split into many pieces to line up with the remastered recording. Also, a custom automation lane done by me to bring out Cliff at all points of the song. But what I'll be giving you today is a demastered video with four track separation generated stems of the vocals only, guitars only, drums only, and an instrumental with no vocals, as well as a bass only video featuring three different versions of the bass track, the first being automated like this, where Cliff cuts through on all the high parts and you can hear him through all parts of the song. The second is a de-remastered version, I like to call it, where I just mute the remaster and it's Cliff against the eight equalizers. And the final is a not automated version where Cliff will not be cutting through as loud on all the high parts of the bass track. Like For Whom the Bell Tolls, the isolated tracks for Creeping Death are in the key of D standard. That's because they recorded the song at a slower tempo and then later sped it back up to the key of E so it would sound as tight as possible. Fortunately, I found an old school workaround. I used the pitch wheel on my Tascam 4 track cassette recorder to speed the track up from D to E standard. Problem solved. Alright, let's give the bass track a quick listen. Let's show you what I did here with the automation lane. So all the Cliff's low stuff, because I guarantee you he recorded with new strings and he wasn't compressed. I can't prove it. I wasn't there in Copenhagen in 1984. But every time he goes high, he disappears into the rhythm guitars. And every time he goes low, he's loud. So all I did was bring up the high parts so that they're the same volume as the low parts. And that's the bass track. All right, that's going to do it for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. This is the Metallica Re-Remastered Series. Stay tuned for more. Like for the bell tolls, the isolated tracks for Creeping Death are in the key of D standard. That's because they recorded the slong. The slong? The, no, no.